Yeah. Yep. Uh, still in chapter 13. Actually just started chapter 13. We're at verse 4. Any questions of anything thus far? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's pink. Can you speak up? I can't hear you. Right? <laughs> yeah, can you use your cover now? Where's Deanna when you need her? So explain the difference because apparently everything I already knew, I don't know. <laughs> that happens to me a lot too, so don't feel bad. So the difference of like who the beast is, who the false prophet is, and who the... Um, uh, they are all men, okay. and it was it kind of you know we were discussing that last week as to what, what what was what, and then after going through and seeing because yeah, I was uh, trying to go on memory, which Amen. is worse now than it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was thinking that the beast was a uh, manufacturer of, of Satan. Well, th th that's coming, and that's but that's not the beast. That's what I was... Right. I kind of was putting those things together myself. Uh, so, it, yeah, when you go through it you know, fresh again, it, it, you, you kind of got to sort it all, <laughs> all over. But the, uh, uh, the beast is someone that is also going to come in power. And generally uh, what we were talking about before, Satan always tries to, to mimic and counterfeit what God does. So, you know, uh, we have the, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Satan, you know, it's, it's not stated anywhere, but you see it. You know, uh, Satan, Antichrist, and the beast, uh, you know, false prophet is a part of that. Um, the false prophet and the, well, he, I mean, he's his, his, own, his own thing too, but he's, he, he's not... Uh, in, in, in the yeah, in, in the, the upper <laughs> you know group with the other three. He's kind of a faith John the Baptist. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, Save your voice. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the beast is going to um, kind of point people towards the Antichrist uh, in terms of you know power and, and you know, to worship him and then and ultimately you know once it's too late uh, it's all going to be geared towards Satan you know uh, worshiping him which is his goal all along right. and it's the whole reason he got thrown out of heaven that's oh, however long ago that was that's how long he's been working on a scheme to try to uh, to acquire uh, acquire that and he, he, he's going to get close he's still not going to achieve it but he's going to get be as close as he'll ever get uh, during uh, particularly the last three and a half years of the tribulation it'll take the first three and a half for all of these power struggles and uh, things to, to work their way out and for uh, them to get into uh, full power like they're going to be trying to get into that's all going to happen uh, I, I think that the the beginnings of it is happening right now really so but in, to really see it unfold and take place those first three and a half years is really going to be antichrist and you know gaining uh, authority and power but then once they have that, then, uh, you know, there's no reason to uh, uh, play nice anymore or uh, trick people. It's going to be too late. So the last three and a half, the, uh, the power has been established uh, past the point of return. There's no going back. So then that's when they're going to just begin to unleash on, uh, well, any anybody here that would oppose them in any way, shape, or form? Hey, Pastor Terry, can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're talking about our money is no good here in the United States. Uh, okay. A little bit, but not for yeah, long. Yeah, they're talking about putting that thing in your hand, 
A lot of people believe that's 666. No. That's not 666? No. Nope. They said that they're going to get rid of all the money. Yeah, they will do that. Yeah, and, uh, um, but some they'll, people they're, that they're going to do that before they even get to that that point. Yeah. You know, when we've talked about this a little bit, um, you know, for quite some time now, you know, cryptocurrency has been you know really big. Uh, all yeah. of the governments hate it. They can't stand it. Yeah. Why? Because it's got Mugabe trust. No, 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 no. The, crypt, the cryptocurrency, digital oh. currency. Yeah, but they already have that. No, that's what I'm saying. But the, gov the governments hate it. Yeah, because they, yeah, but they, they, they can't have control over it. They, they, they have no jurisdiction, no no power, no governing over it whatsoever. And that, that, that goes against what the goal is. So the... Just dig in the, into the, the news, and I, when I say dig, you got to dig a little bit because the the, the mainstream media is not going to be you know throwing this stuff out there for people to see because people are going to be like, hey, wait a minute here. Uh, but if you just look just just a little bit, you're you're going to find information of the the, the big banks, uh, not just here but internationally. Um, uh, let's see, what's the uh, and they're all out of New York. Uh, Bank, Bank One, I think, was one of them. Is that a, one of the big ones? Bank of America. Maybe Bank of America. Well, anyways, not not just recently, uh, they put out their own uh, digital currency, a, a, a test to see how how it's going to work and be received, and you know what the implications would be. Um, then there was two other banks that, that did it with them. Um, that's right here in the U.S. Then the international banks, and I, I can't remember the names of, of, of these different ones, but um, in cahoots with them, I like that word cahoots, um, <laughs> is uh, China is in on that. Um, Brazil, maybe? There's two or three big countries in terms of monetary <laughs> that has interns in, you know, China's one of the biggest ones now, um, that are a, a part of that, that are trying to now force this form of digital currency internationally. So any of the other countries that are gonna wanna do business on an international scale are gonna have to conform and buy into it. Hasn't happened yet, it's coming. So what does that mean? Well, China has already been doing a digital currency for quite some time now. Anybody? Is it the EC or something? Yeah, CBDC. Yeah. Even the, the that's bank. the international one. Yeah, the, yeah. See, I, can't, I can't remember all of the. Yeah, the, the governments are trying to come out with like their own their own centralized bank. Yeah. Yes, but but they're also trying to do this one for international to. So it all lines up with the same thing. The world. Health organization, you're going to have a world financial institution. It, it, it's all trying to come under one. You know, now, you can see these things and say, well, how, okay, 50 years ago, how is it possible for the Antichrist to come into this kind of power? Now you see. Yeah, technology is definitely going to be a huge part of it. Absolutely. So, uh, Anyways, the one that China is using. Did anyone uh, read on how what they're how they're how they're using it? So just like you have here, you know, a, a credit score. Social credit score. There you have a social score. So if you in, with a digital currency, they can keep track of every purchase you make. You buy a stick of gum, they know it. Because <coughs> literally, it's the only way you'll be able to buy anything. So they, it's electronic, so they keep track of all of it. Uh, you know, Vicky, you know, you, you bought a little bit too much uh, such and such. Uh, uh, we're shutting that off. You can't buy that no more for this one. Uh, then, then, if your purchases don't, oh my god, yeah, if, if your purchases don't line up with with their with their agenda, then uh, they're going to see that they can close your account. You know, well, you know what, you're, you're, we're, we're, we're trying to advocate this. Uh, you know, hey, hey, Kenny, you know what, you bought a little bit too much gunpowder for reloading last month. Uh, you know, we got our eye on you. We didn't like that meme. Nobody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that, 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 that joke you thought you thought it was funny on Facebook? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Even deeper than that, too, all this push for your, uh, like electric cars and all that. Like, you know, I, I don't like the idea of an electric car hooked up, you know, I mean, it shut those things off. Yeah. Well, we don't have the means to support that, anyways. That's all a bunch of farce. I'm going to have too many surgeries in six months, and I'm spending too much insurance money. Yep. It's going to make me late. Yep. Yeah. Seriously. I'm serious, too. Yep, yeah. absolutely. That's, we, I are, think that is like I said, what, 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 whatever it is that they're involved with, and, and, and the governments always do this, we're, we're, we're instituting this for your safety. That's, that's what they always say. It has nothing to do with anything. We, they, they should just be up front and say, we're doing this because we want to control you. Uh, so okay, you don't think that this can happen? Um, just just a few months ago in Canada, it, you know, you, you, it just dropped. You didn't hear nothing about it. Do you remember when all the Canadian truckers were were yeah. were boycotting because yeah. they were trying to force the COVID shot on them? Yeah. And they all they all parked their trucks. Yeah, how, how did they stop that? Froze they froze every one of their bank accounts. Not only that, people that were people donating to them. them. Yep. Like, oh, you sent them twenty bucks in diesel. Oh, what's up with? Yeah, we're that? shutting down your your and gas they station. Did. Yep. They shut down people who supported them. They shut down their cards too. Yep. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, because they they didn't want to leave, so they're having people, you know, getting a hold of people to go on and buy you know fuel for them while they're there. Well, they. They keep track and have records of all that. Oh, you, you uh, we see you bought X amount of diesel fuel and you're you're not even a trucker. You know what? We just we just seized your bank account. Wow. You got nothing. And that's on the street. That literally happened. That literally it's not happened. An exaggeration at all. Yeah. One hundred percent happened. Yeah. This it, uh, and like I said, for a couple of days it was all over the news. You know, all the truckers are thousands and thousands of them are here. Then all of a sudden you just didn't hear nothing. Shut it down. Yeah. Because because they're freedom. They just <laughs> it off. You know, uh, it's like where's the fight though? I mean, it'd be cool. You know, look at the Boston Tea Party. You know, with, with well, they don't got guns in Canada. Yeah, I just shot. I'm a Well, that that's just it. Okay, Canada. They'll they and that's but before any of this kind of stuff happens in any country, they take the guns first. Yeah. Yeah. They did that in Australia too. Like, oh, we didn't know Australia, New Zealand. Um, uh, Africa, um, yeah, you, you, you can't own a gun in Canada, right? No, I mean, you, it's like, it's not less shot, right? Yeah, yeah, nothing that's, yeah, not, not less first, you know, you're some, uh, uh, super rich, you know, muckety muck, yeah, <laughs> that, uh, yeah. No, the re regular person in Canada. Yeah, not yeah, that's what they're fishing for right now. That's what they're, they're trying to do now. Have so the guns, the, keep pounding the pavement, uh, moms keep, and all keep that. sending people into shoot-up yeah. schools. Yeah. 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 Gun violence. Yep. You know, yeah. Keep it in front. So we in Australia, when the, when the lockdowns were going on, they were kicking in people's doors at Christmas. You got six people. You're only allowed to take people away to... Camps that like mm -hmm. they had these trailers set up. There was somewhere and else in the, in the in the in Asia in the uh, oh yeah because they had Asia where they did that too. Uh, well, I can't remember all the, the details, yeah. but there's there's several nations that once the government took over the all the people's defense, then uh, uh, oh no, no, that's what it was. It was uh, not too long after that. Uh, in, in every one of those areas, there was some form of a mass genocide. Okay, the, the yeah, Mao, that was a big one. Nazi Germany, they killed millions of Jews. Well, before they did that, they went and took everybody's. Yeah, take the weapons. Yep. They, they have no defense that way. Yep. So, you know, all of the stuff that we're seeing happening right here in our country right now, you know, the, 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 the biggest fight in, in debates and the time that is being spent in Congress right now is over guns. Yep. Right now. Not it's not. It's not over. Drugs. Yeah, you know, uh, all of the kids that are thousands of kids that are missing every month. It's not. You know, that's not being brought up. It's not over all of the the, the drugs that are flooding across the world that are killing everybody. Uh, you know, it's it's none of these things. It's 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 all about guns. Why is that? 
because that is the one thing that is stopping them from having mm -hmm. complete control and nobody can say anything. Yeah. And that, that would be fun in the police. Yep. So you know, we're mentioning all of this just to the realization of, of where we are and how easy it could be to get to the stuff that we're talking about here. Well, all of these things that are happening now really have to take place and they're going to take place to get to this. So when we say, you know, well, how close are we? This is how close we are. Yeah. They're, 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 they're doing things right now to set up everything that needs to be in place for, their, uh, for this to happen. Well, what's how easy for you to shut down the grid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Click? Yeah, I'm telling you. They can shut it down. All the electronics, and I agree that the state of their technology nowadays is, is right for all this. You know, they proved it. You know, but shut the grid down. <laughs> You know, and they have the technology to do this too. You, know, uh, you go over a strategic area and drop an EMP, mm -hmm. you, you could shut down a third of the United States, mm -hmm. just like that. Yeah. So the weather blew over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'll be involved. All right. Here, all right. I, this, this is off subject a little bit, but this was funny. Was, and I don't remember the guy's name. It's somebody I saw on YouTube. He was talking about the whole weather balloon thing and saying, and you, you think that actually came from town? He was saying that you know, the United States is behind it, the, the whole thing. And then he was saying, really, as, as technologically advanced as they are, you, you really think they would, you know, would send a balloon? <laughs> You know, to, to do this, he says. He says, "Come." He says, "Look, listen." He said, "He says they're, they're eight year olds over there, but you know, by the time they're eight, you know, they got their master's degrees." Yeah. You know, he said. He said, "Our eight year olds, they don't know if they're boys or girls." That was I cracked up on that one. <laughs> It is the truth. Oh my goodness. Uh, so anyways, the the stage is being set right now for all of this. Oh yeah. It has been. It has been, but it's it's you know just like you know sin as we watch it through our lifetimes, that, that snowball effect. You know, it's it's increased exponentially. Mm -hmm. You know, over the last several years, compared to what it was before. Well, same thing with these events. Uh, yeah, it's been happening for ever since the crisis ended. Uh, but right now, it's happening at such a rate that it is just unbelievable. Hey, people, can't tell you one day it's not here, and then bam, next day you know we got burpees. Yeah, yeah. How did how did this happen? Yeah. So going back to the first question, yeah. <laughs> so the beast is one who comes to the top and he points him to me. So it's the Antichrist that comes in who sets himself in the middle of the thing, saying he's God and defiles the temple. Uh, is that the Antichrist or the, the? I think it is the Antichrist. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we, have, we, haven't, okay. we haven't gotten there yet, okay. but uh, when we do, it will it, it will uh, reveal that. But yes, I, I do think that that is the Antichrist. All right, chapter 13, verse 4, the worship of Satan and the beast. And they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? All right, so the dragon we know is Satan. The beast is the one that we've been describing that says that he rises out of the, the sea, uh, which we take to mean a, uh, a multitude of people. So, um, you know, whether this is the, you know, we've been talking about the, the, uh, uh, 
kingdom that's going to be the last kingdom that's going to rise, being the re, uh, revised Roman Empire. Uh, whether the beast comes up out of that, um, good possibility that that's where he'll, he'll arise from. Uh, the beast from the sea will become Satan's substitute for the Christ of God. So uh, we said Satan always uh, tries to mimic and have a, a counterfeit for what God has. So uh, the beast then, uh, he's saying, is the substitute for Christ. Um, Satan himself, he desires to be God. So he, he's trying to take that position. It is stated that the whole world worshiped the beast, whose source of strength comes from the dragon. This egotistical and conceited individual employs a manifold of distinguishable objectives, namely to change the times and laws, to cause craft to prosper, to do according to his own will, and you'll see there the, all of the uh, scripture references for these things, and to control mankind in worship. Uh, it is stated that they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. Lucifer, the proud, rebellious archangel, was disparaged of dignity, lost the holiness of character, and was excluded from the heaven of God because his disposition and prevailing aspect of mind was to dethrone God and become the universal object of worship. That's what Satan was desiring. The whole satanic program is to elevate Lucifer to the position of deity. His ambitious desire was to be like the Most High and sit on the mountain of the congregation of heaven. This motive of action and incoherent scheme has had its continuation as Satan has consistently sought worship from Adam's fallen race. His act of self-exaltation has been exhibited in the personages of all those who reject the Christ of God and choose to follow the God of this present age. Those subjects belonging to the realm of darkness are concealed from saving faith, which is brought about by the distorted use of their own individual liberties of free grace. <coughs> this so-called man of peace ultimately becomes one of war. The statement, who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him, implies an act of hostility or contention of conflict waged against the supreme spirit of evil. Mankind will simply become dumbfounded at the seemingly natural ability of this genius to manipulate world powers. According to the prophet Daniel, three of the ten European countries are literally plucked up by the little horn. Also, the prophecies of Ezekiel 38 and 39 speak of the destruction of the entire northern confederacy. There is very strong reason to believe that both of these great and victorious achievements are brought about by the leadership ability of the Antichrist of prophecy. The source of the beast power is derived from the great red dragon. When men worship the beast, they are in reality worshiping Satan. Uh, any questions on that? Okay, I don't have a question about that, but... You know, we know about the church in the end times, how the church is going to be seen, you know, how to stop each other. That's right. So, right now, are there any religious organizations that are behind the government to get the government to go out? Do you know of any? Are there any what? Religious organizations. Oh, that are backing them? That are backing the anti gun Not that I've heard. Because it just, it just settled on me like, that would be next. There'll be churches behind that. Yeah. Me too. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've heard at various times you know, pastors perhaps you know, speak okay. towards that. Okay. Uh, but you know, on their own. Stand as a, as yeah, an not, 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 yeah, not, not speaking for a, an entire organization. It, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah and look, even the yeah, no, but you know, if anybody doesn't stand up then and shout separation of church and state, <laughs> yeah, you want you want nothing to do with the church till now. But if you think they're going to support your, your your agenda, which is the same thing the Antichrist is going to do, he's going to use them for his purpose. Then when you don't need them, you turn on them. Well, Todd, Todd Starnes has got a huge program on, and and uh, he's he's in the semblance of uh, Tucker Carlson uh, down along that line. 
he he says uh, uh, it's a sad day. He said when the when the Baptist Southern Baptist organization jumps in bed with the liberals, he said they're on, they're on the same same page. Yeah. Oh, wow. he, he said with everything that they're they're doing, he said they're falling right in, in lockstep with them. So uh, that's that was his headline. Yeah. You know, so uh, I didn't I didn't get a chance to read the article yet. So. Yeah. Come, so. No, but it's going to happen. Yeah. It says that he's going to ultimately become a man of war. So <coughs> he's going to be like intelligent as far as military stuff goes, or have knowledge of military tactics. Uh, yes, whether it's of his own, uh, it's it's all going to be fed. Satan and the Antichrist are, are going to be his his source of power. So you know, it's going to seem like he has this ability, but it's really not. Have control over the people that didn't. So. Right. And, okay, you figure, you know, Satan, who all does he have control over in this world in terms of, you know, people in authority and power and, and have access to know what, what they're doing and what they're planning? You know, he's behind it. So uh, to be able to have that, that understanding, you know, it's all coming directly from, from Satan. Okay, verses 5 through 6. The beast blasphemes God and those who dwell in heaven. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. That's the three and a half year period that happened. The, the last half. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Uh, so he's, uh, again, he's, he's, yeah. And he, he's going to turn on any form of religion. Like So that's, use that term loosely because whatever religion is here is going to be ridiculous. Uh, but at any rate, it, it's uh, they're going to be going by the name of God, supposedly. Uh, so anything to do with that or uh, any anyone that would have any tendencies to align with anything like that, and he, he's just going to turn on them and, and you know, tear them down and ridicule them and, and you know, blaspheme God and, and talk, you know, uh, uh, about God and, you know, who knows what kind of claims he's going to, you know, make, oh, if there is a God, then, you know, uh, why doesn't he do this or you know, whatever, you know, how, how people, people get. So he's, he's really going to uh, be very outspoken towards God, religion, and anything to do with God. You know, he, he's going to tear down to where, uh, He's going to have the power and the following that that anyone that that would be thinking that way will be afraid to show it or say anything uh, for fear of the backlash that will come. You know, if if uh, <coughs> how, how do you liken it? You know, if the most popular kid in school thought that you know. Uh, you know, the color yellow was stupid and everybody followed this kid. Well, you wouldn't wear yellow to school because you wouldn't want to you know, have everybody all over you because you know, juvenile, but this is <laughs> same type of thing is kind of here. He's, he's going to be in that kind of authority and position and really be tearing down God and anything to do with God that if anyone did have any thoughts towards that, uh, they're, they're not going to be willing to open their mouths or say anything because everybody's going to think, you know, you're the, you're, you're, you're the geeky, nerdy kid. <laughs> so now, is it referring to the real church or for his world church? Whatever church exists here. Yeah, no, not, 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 not the, uh, so the world church is, he, he's not really going to have much to do with that. He, he's going to, the Antichrist is going to, for a time, seem to align with them. Uh, again, it, only for the purpose to, to gain influence over the rest of the world through them. That, that, that demographic that they would 
normally maybe not be able to, to get access to. So through them, he's going to gain their following and their trust. Uh, then once all that is done, he's just going to completely turn on the church, any church, whatever, I anything that, that, that has any kind of a, an association or representation of, of God. Again, it's hard to, for us to talk about this because we realize that God's not involved in it, but that, that doesn't matter. You, you think of any uh, you know, far out group of people religious wise now that there may be that you know, they may call themselves Christians or they say that they're serving God when you can look at them and say, God ain't in a million miles of that, but they're still referencing and acknowledging they think that it's to do with God. Uh, so that's going to be the church during this time. They're, okay. they're going to claim God in uh, you know, a knowledge or a relationship with him. They're not going to have one, but they're going to claim it. So even anything that even claims anything like that, the Antichrist and the beast and all that, because they don't want anybody thinking that way. They want all that attention going towards Satan. Right, they want them to think that he's the God. Exactly. Not nobody else. Exactly. So then if he hasn't turned on, say, the church at that time, so then trying to follow this. So at this point, like their world church that he's going to use, mm -hmm. um, he's still talking about those ones as well, or is he just talking about those who actually accepted Christ during this time. Talking about in what sense? What do you... Uh, um, when he said, he opened his mouth and blessed me against God and me. Um, like talking about those that... I got to you use that analogy, okay, anything that had to do with you. So, like he has, say that world church that's going to come in a place where he's going to be using them. So it's that what he was referring to with all this, or are they, are they like still in the cold kid group with anyone else? Actually... No, this, this this is all going to be kind of happening simultaneously. So, uh, and I don't think we've gotten there yet. We're um, where did we? I can't remember now. I think it's the council where it it actually states where he turns on the 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 church. No, no, yeah, yeah, okay. No. So that's we're we're going to get to that. So that and this happening is all in the same time period. Basically, the last three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's going to be the ugliest yeah. part by far. All right, let's see here. The demonstration of power has often been exercised by the art of using language with fluent and eloquent speech, characterized by forcible and appropriate expression. Uh, these impious utterances against the sacred name of God were a previous prediction of Daniel the prophet. In this horn were eyes like of a man and a mouth speaking great things. I beheld them because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods. This inglorious prevailing system will continue for 42 months until the second coming of Christ terminates the reign of Antichrist. So the, again, this is going to go on for, for the, the last three and a half years uh, of the tribulation. Uh, <laughs> the... the Antichrist and the beast, they're, they're, they're men, and whatever has happened within them to align with or decide and to see, you know, Satan and, the, uh, you know, who, who knows, I don't, never, never could understand how people's thinking to go that direction, but whatever it is, um, <laughs> their, their, their reward, so to speak, I always laughed at this, you know, they're, they're their, their, their payment uh, for, for taking that position uh, even more so than what's going to happen to Satan they, they get to go into the lake of fire a thousand years earlier <laughs> <laughs> seriously 
Because Satan's going to go into the bottom of his pit, which, you know, that's not going to be pleasant, but at least it's not the lake of fire. Then, then at the end of that time, he's going to, well, when Christ returns, the first thing he does is to cast the Antichrist and the beast immediately into the lake of fire. So, yeah, Satan, I can see Satan, hey, thanks, you get a thousand year head start on me. <laughs> there's, there's, there's your reward for following me. Uh, I have a stupid question. <laughs> you say bottomless pit. I mean, he's going to be falling forever? I guess. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's like an hourglass. You go so far, then you start falling the other okay. way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's just what they refer to it as, so. I mean, I, I know I've heard that so many times, but to really think about it, it's like, you know, okay, so it's only, only God can create something like that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, maybe it's like a black hole, and then when it's time, God just pulls them out of it. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just I don't want to be there. That's all. No, I mean. so you, you don't think the beast is the the religious leader at the time that's coming to I don't think so. No, uh, because that any. Anyone involved in any form of religion, like I said, it's going to be as false as false can be. But in their minds, they're still going to be claiming God. Uh, and any anyone or anything to do with that, Satan is going to wipe them out because that's taken away from what he's after. Even if it's fake, it's, it's still hey, wait, they want that. That's what he wants. Yeah. That, no, no I, I, I don't think that the beast will be any kind of religious. The beast is going to, you know, hell too. So. Yep. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, which is another you know, uh, reason to realize that it is a, you know, it's, it is a, a soul because it's going to spend eternity in the lake of fire. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's see. John does not say by whose authority the beast speaks so greatly against the God of heaven. However, we may assume that it comes from the dragon, who is said in verse 2 to have given him his power and seat and great authority. Satan's blasphemous attacks are particularly against God, his name, his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. The name of the God of heaven will be blasphemously and vigorously attacked, is uh, as Satan now confined to the realm of planet Earth, and that's what we talked about before, where he's cast down, you know, out of out of heaven or the heavens, would be how we would understand that, and he's restricted to the Earth. So now he's confined uh, here on Earth. Uh, will prof profess to be God Himself, and uh, even though he's confined, he still doesn't have power. Yes, limited. Right. It, it, it keeps getting more and more limited, but yes. As Darius the Median king who, who signed a decree that whosoever should ask a petition of another god save himself should be put to death, this end time ruler will form a pact that as the only true god he be worshipped and those found serving any other god be put to death. So that's why I say any, anyone to have anything to do with any kind of religion other than Satanism is they're going to be hunted down. The only true God um, what? The only true God he be worshipped and that doesn't make sense. Let's see. Before Peck as the only true God. Okay, thank you. It's like this is makes no sense. <laughs> uh, now I know why. <laughs> it's like, what is he saying? I don't get it. Uh -oh. <laughs> the tabernacle of God, there we go, relates to the heavenly sanctuary. However, a tabernacle may actually be any place or house of worship, especially one designed for a large audience. A place anywhere on earth dedicated to worship the God of heaven perhaps could be that which is inferred. These places of true worship will be especially attacked by the beastly ruler. Uh, I don't know if there will be any places of true worship, honestly. Uh, as during the days of the atheist Russian Revolutionary War in 1917, when the anti-God armies closed the houses of God and converted the places of worship into storage houses of grain. 
Think of it. The sacred places where the church once resided in worship now become detestable and accursed uh, with the operation of the beastly kingdom. Blasphemy against the church had been a constant satanic operation imputed before the throne of God prior to the church rapture. At this particular time, charges of offense imposed upon the people of God are heard only on the earth below. Those who have been accounted worthy are at home with the Lord. They are in heaven. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay, I got a question. Uh-huh. Okay, so when the church rapture happens, does that mean that the those subjects belong to the realm of darkness are concealed from the saving faith, which brought about by the distorted use of their own individual liberties and free of grace. Free of grace. Um, so is this when, you know, the circle of people getting saved is smaller? Or is, is Definitely. This, is this the ones that are still, like... See, where, where are you reading at so I can... Uh, on page 99, uh -huh. is that the first paragraph at the bottom? Or is that going to be like the ones that, you know, know that it's gotten still person and in the end? Uh, I still haven't seen. Oh, here, I found it. That's right. Let's see. Is that just something? Okay, so yeah, he's talking about those that are uh, that are following after Satan. Uh, Satan, his act of self exaltation. Those subjects belonging to the realm of darkness are concealed from saving faith. So um, are these those are talking about demonic okay. forces. Okay. Yeah. The, well, anyone, okay, uh, saying belonging to the realm of darkness, that is for sure, you know, demonic forces. Uh, the Antichrist is going to be belonging to the realm of darkness. And the Antichrist is, you know, he's in a position of authority and power, but there's going to be so many people here that are like minded. I mean, the, so these falling people, right in line when he starts when he starts doing you know showing himself for who he really is and starts doing these things there's going to be plenty of people human beings here on this earth they're going to be like yeah it's about time this is what you know they're, they're, they're going to be right on board with them so they belong to the realm of darkness too kind of like the ones in the end where they know it's God and still Person. Exactly. They okay. they they've they've gone so far that yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, what time is it? I don't have. Eight oh seven. Eight oh seven. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. It's too far. Yeah, I so because you know there's gonna be a lot. <laughs> yeah. And the next one. All right, mark your papers there then, verses 7 through 9. We'll, we'll go through next time. The beast demands universal worship. Yeah, that's what he's been after all along. It sounds like.